Hey guys, it's your tech girl Mary and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So another day, another review video na naman ito but this time, television yung pag-uusapan natin, specifically the Samsung Zero. Actually, the Zero yung tawag dito. It's not technically that a new since it's been out for a while now. So, alam niyo na, hindi naman na siya masyadong bago sa paningin natin. Since yung iba dito nakita na to sa mga malls or even on my other platforms katulad ng TikTok or Instagram. But hey, this is a longer type of video na makikita nyo nga here in YouTube para mas malinawan lalo na yung iilan sa atin dito na nagpa-planong bumili nga nitong TV ng Samsung. So yes, nakita nyo sa the title, this is the world's first rotating television. Alam ko naman din very niche yung mga ganitong klase ng TV. So, para kanino ba sila? Actually, no, sasagutin ko yung question na yan later on pag medyo patapos na tayo. Gusto ko lang muna kayong bigyan ng background kung paano namin in-unbox itong TV na to. Okay, so makikita nyo dito sa clip natin when this TV arrived, patayo talaga siya. Well, yung packaging niya is actually very unique. Hindi siya yung tipo ng um, box na makikita natin sa mga ordinary TV na binibili natin. And the way to open it, actually may right way guys. May parang instructions siya kung paano natin siya isi-set up. Basically guys, bubuksan natin siya by pulling the box. Hindi pa hila na usual na ginagawa nga natin. And by the way, no, kapag pala ito ay isi-set up natin guys, medyo struggle siya ng i-unbox mag-isa. So I really suggest na you ask for help kahit na dalawa lang kayo actually okay na. Just to give you a very brief background lang no guys, um, medyo sanay na akong mag-unbox or mag-set up ng mga lifestyle-ish televisions ng Samsung. Aside sa the Zero, they also of course uh, have yung the frame and of course the Serif. Both of these TVs guys, so meron ako dito sa bahay. So medyo, alam nyo na, fan ako ng um, TVs ng Samsung. So yeah, I'll be very transparent with you guys. Pero ayun nga, speaking of transparency, binili ko naman yung mga TV na yon. So talagang, I must say na okay ako sa mga TVs ng Samsung. So what makes this Zero TV so special? Isa kasi siyang rotating TV guys that can be synced to your smartphone and display content such as Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, or any uh, applications na naka-vertical format. And then, when you rotate it to landscape mode, for example, for YouTube and Netflix, it's a space-saving and stylish upgrade siya to any room's design. Actually, no, kung mapapansin nyo nga, meron siyang parang color blue stand here. Ito siya, guys. Specifically, kapag tinignan nyo siya in person, it's actually navy blue. And may purpose siya. So, mamaya malalaman nyo kung ano ba yung... Uh, silbi na itong stand na to. By the way, ito yung itsura ng remote niya. Hindi siya naiiba doon sa remotes ng the serif or even ng the frame. Pero may one specific button na nagpapa-unique sa kanya. This is that specific button, guys. I-click lang natin to if we want the TV to rotate. So, gawin na natin. <laughs> so, ayan. Naka-portrait mode na siya. Pero gusto kong ibalik kasi... Um, medyo awkward tingnan sa camera natin as of the moment. Okay, going back, kung mapapansin nyo, no, naka-ambient mode yung television natin ngayon. Just take note, yung ambient mode, this can be turned on kapag ito ay naka-landscape mode. Katulad ng nakikita nyo right now. So once na we rotate the television to portrait mode, we can no longer use the ambient mode. But there is a selection of wallpapers naman, guys, and uh, screen savers if we want to use the television nga in a portrait mode, especially if you want to use it for store displays, advertising, for home decor, using it as a giant clock, or even for show demos. Alam ko naman na big deal sa atin yung uh, screen quality ng isang TV, of course. So when it comes to picture quality, I would say okay and compared sa mga ordinary televisions, yung picture quality niya guys is realistic. It possesses a 4K picture screen that is capable of course of displaying lower quality footage and movies in 4K. Hindi lang yon, meron din siyang adaptive feature feature na included dito sa TV na to. And since oh, meron tayo na tong feature na to, yung brightness guys, allows the TV to detect when the lighting conditions surrounding the television change. Speaking of the stand, since uh, ilang beses ko naman na siyang na-mention sa inyo, unang-una no, nung analyst 
namin siya sa box. I just wanna uh, give you guys an idea. Napakabigat ng stand. <laughs> Which is why I am always telling you guys dito sa video natin na kailangan nyo nga ng katulong when it comes to setting this TV up. Hindi lang siya stand basta-basta since it is also a powerful sound system. Actually, meron siyang built-in speaker. It is uh, built uh, directly in front of this television, guys. It's a 4.1 channel, 60 watts front firing speakers. Kaya naman din yung experience namin is quite immersive and mas amplified yung listening experience as compared to other televisions. Uulitin ko no, meron na tayong the frame here in the studio and I must say, okay, yung audio quality niya pero hindi ko expect na mas may gaganda pa pala which is what the Zero is giving us. So what is the purpose kapag naka-portrait mode na yung television? Actually, just like what I mentioned kanina guys sa video natin, that this can be used um, by using, of course, yung ating mga smartphones. So since I have a Samsung smartphone with me, ito na lang yung gagamitin natin, we are using the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. And ito turn on ko lang yung smart view mode niya, if we wanna do it manually. Once na turn on na natin ito guys, it will automatically connect to the Samsung Zero TV and has a feature called Mobile Optimized Screen. Ibig sabihin nito guys, it can mirror your smartphone when it comes to landscape mode or portrait mode directly onto the television. Alam nyo, it is a really cool feature. Lalo na if uh, during presentation salimbawa, no, you wanna show of course your um, Instagram profile or even something like like a recipe or maybe even show your analytics. Marami siyang purpose actually depending on the reason kung bakit nyo binili yung TV. Pero alam nyo no, one aspect talaga na kinaganda ng TV na to is once it is being mirrored onto the television screen, as you rotate your phone screen, the, the TV will also rotate. So yeah, susunod talaga sa galaw nyo yung TV kung paano kayo gumagamit ng smartphone. Do take note, para naman sa mga naka-Apple devices dyan, as same kapag ginamit natin yung regular, of course, Samsung device natin, but you can use it for AirPlay. So kahit pa paano kung naka-Apple device kayo, may utilize nyo yung feature. Again, this is one of the advantages talaga guys. If nasa ecosystem tayo, everything just works seamlessly. By the way, one thing I really like about the televisions of Samsung, katulad ng meron din sila sa The Frame and again, meron sila sa The Serif, is yung way kung paano natin pwedeng itago yung mga wires natin sa kanila. Like, of course, The Serif, etong The Zero, meron siyang pinaka-cover doon sa pinaka-ports natin. Ports kung saan pwede nating i-connect, of course, yung iba pang mga consoles, like, uh, for example, PS5, or even yung Nintendo Switch, or even some speakers. Meron tayong dalawang USB Type-A ports, tatlong HDMI ports, an audio out, and a port to connect yung ating antenna. The question is, is it worth it? Lalo na ngayon, no? In the world full of smartphones, tablets, and other portable devices, alam naman natin na hindi na tayong masyadong palagamit ng TVs ngayon. But in all honesty guys, itong TV ng Samsung, yung The Zero, it also has a unique design that will level up yung ating living space. Although, yun nga lang, it can be a bit pricey for a television. So again, kung bibili tayo nito, let's just make sure that we have a purpose for it other than it being a television. So yes, that's basically it guys. Sana nasawat ko yung mostly na tinatanong nyo sa akin. And yep, again, it's your tech, a girl Mary, and see you on our next video. Bye, guys.